Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about DNS propagation, probably the least favorite thing of switching a web host or just getting started with a web host. So I want to explain a little bit about what this is and kind of how you can speed it up and make the process a lot easier. So right now I'm on the main page of NameHero.com and of course we offer the high speed cloud web hosting for um, shared web hosting packages, reseller packages, as well as VPS packages. But regardless of what you sign up with, when you start your website for the first time or you migrate from another web host, you have this period where you have to change your DNS, your domain name servers. You have to change over the, your servers to your domain, which essentially connect the domain with your web hosting. Now this process can take anywhere from 24 to 48 hours, but nowadays in the United States, most of the time it's completed within an hour. So I just recently typed up a blog post called How to Speed Up DNS Propagation. And feel free to head over to namehero.com slash startup and look for it, or you can just simply type this in the search bar here and it will come right up. Um, Many years ago, when I first got started online, I remember when I needed to switch web hosts, um, my first website was a pro wrestling website. My first really successful website was a pro wrestling website. And we were on a, a small dedicated server and it was like overnight we started to get really popular really quick. And of course we needed to expand our servers. Now this is before the cloud. So we actually had to switch providers, buy a new server, switch providers. And then we had 48 hours of time where some visitors still access the old web host and some new visitors access the new web host. Well, this is a big problem because we were a pro wrestling website that posted breaking wrestling news and we had like 20 to 30 updates a day. So some people were seeing the old site with old outdated articles. Some people were seeing the new site with the new articles and the people that were seeing the old site were pretty mad. Well, a lot has changed since those days, and back then we ended up fixing it by posting all the newest articles on the old server, and so basically for a two-day period we were updating two websites, and it was a really big pain. Um, so I want to talk about how we can make this easier for you and kind of how we go about this here at Name Hero. So first of all, nowadays there's dynamic DNS providers. Uh, so this is like Cloudflare. Cloudflare serves a dynamic DNS provider, meaning that if you do a full integration with Cloudflare, and this means you're using Cloudflare's name servers, then all you have to do is change your A records inside of Cloudflare for the DNS to update. Now, an A record, you can set your time to live, TTL, and um, as soon as you set that number, whatever you want it to be, and maybe it's, uh, and you set it in seconds, um, or milliseconds, and so you set this to where your site will be live in five minutes. Um, so if you're using Cloudflare for the full integration and you want to swap web hosts, all you have to do is change that A record to your new web host and then it just works. Now this is personally how I do Name Hero and it's how I've done my websites is using a, a dynamic DNS provider for many years. And this is because I need to be able to scale on the fly. Um, here at Name Hero we do a lot of marketing, we do a lot of advertising campaigns, we spend a lot of money on advertising. Well, we've had times and, and you know I know this is, is still coming up. Um, when we have big media buys that really hit, especially around Black Friday and we run our big specials, that we have to actually scale our site up to bigger server to handle all the orders that come in. Um, now, because of this, we have to use a dynamic provider because we cannot have downtime. We have too many tickets and orders and everything coming in by the second, so we have to be able to scale instantly. So we, we use Cloudflare's uh, full integration and um, we route our A records appropriately um, so we can always scale. Uh, now this is, so that's a recommended route. If you have a really popular site and know that you're probably going to switch hosts or servers in your uh, time frame, that you probably want to use one. Um, DYN.com is another really big, really good one um, that we have used in the past. Um, but for those of you that that's not a reality, let's say that you're moving to Name Hero from HostGator, which we have a lot of customers. I mean, we a couple of months ago, I'd say we averaged 10. I'd say nowadays we probably average 50 or so a day that are coming over from HostGator, and, and much because HostGator support seems to be lackluster, um, to say the least. Um, nowadays, it just seems like they don't really care too much about um, retaining business. They're more concerned about getting new business. So we get a lot of people coming up from HostGator. Well, they have to switch their name servers from nswhatever.hostgator.com to name heroes. 
So this process can take up to 24 hours. Now, as I said, most of the time in the United States, it takes an hour or two hours, but still I've seen it, I've seen it recently, it take all the way up to 48 hours. Um, so to speed this up, you can use um, a, a, a website called OpenDNS. And these guys are a DNS provider, and then it's, Cisco recently bought them out. And they're known for providing DNS to protect um, networks. Um, so, for example, here at the office here at Name Hero, and as well as my home, we use OpenDNS's filtering system to eliminate uh, malicious content. So, um, it goes one for the parenting aspect of it. So, I've got kid, young kids at home, and if they try to get on websites they should not be accessing, maybe sexually explicit or um, having to deal with illegal drugs, um, OpenDNS filters it. So, they'll just see a message that says this website is blocked if it contains any of that stuff and so I really like this because they filter it on a DNS level so unlike software that they can you know you can get by a software software is only as good as the latest update on a DNS level it actually scans the website for this type of content and it filters it out so they don't get it so that's that's I'm most familiar with open DNS with their, their filtering system and again we use it here at the office too because we're trying to run a business right we don't want malicious content but not only the inappropriate material I'm also talking about uh, malicious sites, phishing sites, malware, um, all that stuff that gives your computer viruses, stuff that we don't want in our network here at Name Hero. So we simply use OpenDNS and it protects us all from that. But outside of that, they have another service to where they'll actually pull fresh DNS records automatically. So even if you have an, it's, let's say you're using Time Warner, or I guess it's Spectrum nowadays, uh, Spectrum, or if you're using uh, Charter Communications or another big provider, and your DNS is outdated, well, you can go to this IP address right here, I'll list in my blog post, 208.69.38.205, and it gives you instructions on how to pull a fresh DNS. So this is very beneficial and it's sim very simple to use. So I'm using Mac OS X, so I could click here and you can see, go to system preferences, click on network, select on your connection, your list and advance and use these for your DNS servers, click okay. Um, so as soon as I would do this, I would pull the fresh DNS for my website. So if I just switch to Name Hero, I could follow these directions and simply pull in a fresh DNS. And if I'm using Windows 7, I follow these steps, XP, Vista, gosh, you're still using Vista. Um, if I got a generic router or a Linksys router or a Netgear router or a D-Link router, so there's instructions for all of them here. Um, so this can really help speed up the process. So if you don't want to wait, you sign up, you're ready to use your new hosting account, I highly recommend using OpenDNS. If you're not using a dynamic provider and you need to see your updated site now and you don't want to wait, use OpenDNS. Uh, finally, setting your local host file. Um, this is what I personally do when I'm developing or making changes to Name Hero. Now, at Name Hero, for example, when I'm carrying out a big upgrade or we're developing the site and working on the site, obviously we can't do that live because if we mess something up, then it's going to affect a lot of people that are on the site. So what we will do is when we're developing, we will use a development computer and we'll set the local host file to pull from a new server, from a whole different server um, that we're developing on. And that way that when we type in namehero.com in our browser, we're getting the development server and not the live public facing server. So if we make a mistake or something happens, then customers can still order, they can still submit tickets and we can develop, develop, develop a way. I've got a link to a tutorial that I filmed uh, that shows you exactly how to do this. If you're using a Mac, that, I use Mac, so that's um, what I film on a lot. Um, it's super easy. If you use a Windows, it's a little bit more detailed, but it's still pretty easy to edit your host file. You're basically just opening a text file, um, adding some text, and saving it. I mean, it's really that simple. So check that out. Um, and that's what I recommend for customers. We get a lot of um, WordPress developers here at Name Hero that sign up, and they develop sites for customers, and they ask frequently in our support desk and in our live chats and on the phone how do I test the sites before I give it to my client and that's very important and so I always send them over to that blog post to check it out and, and to use that method because that's the sure way to check because you're actually accessing the site you're not using a preview link and you can make sure all the links all the images the database and everything lines up 
Now, with all that said, name hero, we've got your back. So if after 24 hours or even 48 hours, if you're not seeing your new site on uh, our servers, then you need to reach out ASAP. And feel free, you know, if it's a couple of hours and you're not seeing it and you're concerned, you can always ask. I mean, we're not going to get mad at you. Uh, but we may tell you, hey, you know, we can see it on our end, but you're probably cash, so you might need to wait a little bit longer. Um, you can check into dns.com and I've got the link here so you can click this site here and enter your domain and make sure there's no red uh, into DNS provides a report on your DNS and make sure everything's kosher and make sure you don't have any mistakes in your zone files um, if you check your domain and you see any red let our support team know we'll fix that for you immediately but nonetheless we're here 24 7 to help you out we want to make sure that your website is online and I understand that DNS propagation is very frustrating. I mean, my gosh, I, you know, when I first started Name Hero, this is probably one of the reasons why I got cursed out the most is because people do not want to wait. And I understand that. So um, these are a couple methods to speed that up so you don't have to wait, so you can see your new website uh, on the new server and you don't have to wait for that propagation to take effect. Um, inside your client area, this is where you're going to find those name servers. So let me go in here. Here's my example package here. You can see the name servers. So these are what you'd want to set your domain to. So in this case, my domain's Halloween Costume Blog. I would want to make sure I set my name servers to ns9.namehero.net and ns10.namehero.net. And uh, so that's actually the name servers I would use. And if you just signed up with us, you should have these in a welcome email. And of course, you've got them in the dashboard here. And you can also go to email history and view all the emails we've ever sent you to make sure you have all the uh, materials that you need. If you have any questions, let us know. Um, DNS propagation, it can be frustrating, but um, these, these methods here should speed you up and get you well on your way to seeing your website live on our servers. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know, but thanks a bunch for choosing NameHero.com.